Hello there YouTube, welcome to another episode of Let's Get Better. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about perspective. I sometimes get asked by people if I want to take a look at their work uh, to see if I have any tips or suggestions on how people can improve. And when I do, um, not always, but a lot of the times when I look at it, it has to do with uh, perspective because perspective can really make or break a drawing and even though I've been painting and drawing for quite a while now uh, I still really kind of struggle with it myself as well but um, if you know everything about it uh, and you master it your work will be awesome so yeah just let's let's get to it all right so today's video, I won't really go into the theory and rules about perspective because there is just so much information on the on the internet out there, uh, in books and YouTube videos and websites. I mean, if if you want to know more, I advise you strongly to just Google it and uh, go and read about it or buy a book about it because there's tons of books about it as well. Uh, this video will only pretty much just show you some very basic exercises and what you can do uh, to just like play around with it and then there's like exercises that will help you uh, get a better grasp of objects in 3D space. By the way, I would normally do these exercises with pen and paper. So the first exercise is a simple one-point perspective where you make boxes or other forms and relate them to the center. Again, I would normally do this on paper because I really suck with a Wacom uh, and line drawing like this. It's, it's terrible. Um, and also if you use paper, I mean, also just use a ruler. There's no shame in using a ruler. <laughs> So uh, this exercise will help you get a better feeling for having objects like far away, up close, above, under you, etc. So it will really help you to get a better understanding and a better grasp of the free space that you try to like mimic in a drawing. This second exercise is um, more like a freehand perspective exercise. Um, here you just start with a box or a cylinder and then just build upon that. Draw it in different directions, bring it closer to you, or just like push it further away. Uh, you can really get creative with it and have a lot of fun with it. Um, these exercises are all pretty much like related to very fundamental understandings of drawing and painting. Uh, mastering fundamentals will help your imaginative work as well as your work from observation to get much, much better. So I really strongly advise you to pick up these uh little exercises do them like a couple of times really like and if you enjoy them just do them more because like the more you do it it doesn't hurt you can only get better at it the third exercise might be the hardest of the three this time you grab a piece of paper and an object with the shape of a box uh, a pack of cigarettes was it for me even though i quit smoking three months ago yay um then you place uh, those in front of you and you try to draw them in the right perspective. Uh, do that a couple of times and don't forget to either move yourself around the box or move the box around you or uh, or around on a piece of paper. It's it's actually kind of funny um, to try and draw it from every angle. So go left of it, go right, uh, stand up, draw it on almost like an eye level or uh, put it on the ground or whatever, you know, get, get creative with that and uh, it's a fun exercise and you will most definitely help your help yourself to train your eyes and brain to get better at seeing and drawing perspective. Uh, also be sure to check out the first video I did about negative space and practice that too. And uh, yeah, get to work. So if you like this video, then uh, please press a thumbs up or leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for other videos, subjects you want to know more about, feel free to ask. Uh, I don't bite, so um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and uh, see you soon.